Good morning. Thanks so much for joining us at 830. I'm Jamie Sullivan. So we're going to continue our back to school blitz. New school year it can be exciting for the kiddos, parents, even new friends, new schools. But it can also mean stressors, right? Anxieties for your students. 19's Vic Gideon has some advice on what parents or guardians can do to help ease their children into this school year. August and September can be exciting times for kids and parents, but for some, also the most anxious time. Anticipating and wondering, you know, about new things is a hard time, you know, for kids and some kids just don't like change. It can take two months for kids to adjust to the new school year before things are back to normal. And that back to school stress can mean changes in sleep, eating and mood. And high school is a time when anxiety goes up and sleep goes down. There's a lot more pressure once kids get into high school. So ninth grade is when a lot of my patients start having sleep disorders because they start worrying about all of the work that they have to do and all the projects and the tests. Middle school kids have another major concern. It's, it's pretty, it's most prevalent in seventh to eighth grade where kids are bullied and then it kind of gets less and less, it goes down. So by senior year, it's the least. COVID apparently won't be a health concern for students as they return to school, but some are still feeling the effects of the virus. There are so many of my patients have social anxiety now, especially about being in bigger groups. They just don't have the skills. Parents need to make sure kids are getting enough exercise and sleep. They need to make sure the kids know the parents are there to help and the counseling is available if needed. Vic Gideon, 19 News. A terrifying